I'm Jinjo. Jinjo means happiness, so I'm always happy if it's me smiling for you. I'm not too sure how to call her or describe her. Maybe Jijom the Great or Jijom the Wonder Woman. Perhaps this statement about her would justify why I describe her as such. I'm the first drilling, female drilling engineer. I don't know whether it's in Ghana, but then to be in GMPZ. She's an amazing lady. She's one of the hardworking ladies we have in the corporation. Um, just something that I, you may want to know. She's the first female produced petroleum engineer in Ghana from tech. Zijom is a risk taker, the kind of person who believes in trying and failing rather than not trying at all. Even though she was unsure where she could work in Ghana because of what she wanted to study, petroleum engineering, she still went ahead. I started off the course in 2004. At that time, Ghana had not discovered oil. Um, it was still a grey area. And I would say that it was high risk to go into a course that you practically do not really have where you are going to be in the next four years. But I, I owe it to my father. I went into this um, course after I had a discussion with my father, a chit chat with my father on how oil is being produced. And he did mention to me that um, oil is being found offshore. And I was like, how? Are they going to scoop all the water from the river and then produce it? <laughs> so I was, I was actually, it was fascinating, but I really wanted to know why, how, and all this come about. So. And right after her studies, Ghana found oil. And I'm happy to say that I'm one of the key players in, in this industry. I have contributed my quota to in this industry to come this far. So I'm, when I was employed, I was attached to Talo as a world site engineer. So basically, I worked as a drilling engineer on the offshore fields. And I've also worked on the uh, OCTP blog during their uh, uh, exploring, drilling their exploratory role. I've also worked on the Kita blog. Um, I don't know, not much has been said about the Kita blog, but actually we have um, a well drilled on the Kita blog. That's the Nina wall. It's actually not the only wall we have, Kuda wall and other walls there. But I was on this troublesome wall. This wall was troublesome, and I was sent there to be on this troublesome, <laughs> troublesome wall. She is 12 years, not in age, but the number of years she has worked with GMPC, Zijom, is presently senior wells engineer and she has done exploit. The Kita fold is actually a deep water and it was high pressure zone. So um, it was difficult. Um, they were having shallow gases and it was difficult drilling on that field. So E and I operated that field. They drilled an exploratory wall, one exploratory wall on the field. And I'm happy to say that I was part of that team that drilled that wall. I like to dare into things that people are not ready to dare in. Yes, so I'm, I'm not really surprised. I like to take chances, share chances. And um, I just like to, to explore. I, I like to test myself. She appears a born leader and that reflects in everything she does. This is something her bosses have also noticed. When they have come for national service, as a senior engineer, I moved to their office and I was looking for who is the head, who is the leader of the national service person. And that means I think there are about eight national service persons. She was the only girl. They all pointed at her that she is our leader. So I told her, ah, how can this tiny girl be the leader of these big boys? You people are not serious. And she proved that yes, she is the leader. She is a natural leader when they came to do service. So we saw that treat in her. She's somebody who knows what she's about. She's currently assisting me and other senior colleagues on uh, preparing monthly reports, preparing departmental KPIs, tracking of training. And she has been the budget coordinator for the department for the past um, four years. And she's done that uh, extremely well. She makes sure that the budget is tracked and um, uh, trainings that are approved. She follows up and ensures that trainings are, are executed. That's so when we get management approval for the execution of training. 
she does all that and she also does the technical work uh, as well her desire to make an impact and stand out to be counted is the reason albert would catalog countless irrefutable reasons as to why the job needed to be employed after her national service she doesn't give excuses to her work she's always ready to work go offshore do the design everything that the guys will have to do she's ready to do it from national service time so when she completed national service i remember i personally said that it's a disappointment that we are letting this first female Ghanaian trained petroleum engineer to work in the street of Ghana to look for a job. I was, I mean, it's somebody that we should just pick and for her to be a, a good uh, ambassador and mentor for the young ladies in the industry. So we had a lot of discussions uh, together with other senior colleagues to ensure that Jejom is employed. I would say at the employment stage, it was because I was, um, I would say I was exceptional in a way because although I was attached to the engineering department, I did not restrict myself to only engineering works. I, I worked in the geology department. I also went ahead to work with the HR department. So at that time, we had only one person doing national service with them, the human resource department. So I kind of double up to assist him. He's no more here anyway, he's resigned and assist him in his day-to-day -day, um, activities. So basically, I would say it's because I was ready to learn and um, I was curious actually. So that's, that's the reason why I was given the opportunity to come and explore and also increase my curiosity. She's currently um, working in the role of a senior uh, wealth engineer. Um, she's currently assisting me and other co senior colleagues on uh, preparing monthly reports, preparing departmental KPIs, tracking of training, and she has been the budget coordinator for the department for the past um, four years, and she's done that uh, extremely well. She makes sure that the budget is tracked and uh, up trainings that are approved. She follows up and ensures that trainings are, are executed. So when we get management approval for the security of training, she does all that. And she also does the technical work uh, as well. Didi, as she is affectionately called by many here at GMPC, is very focused. So not even the challenges and the hazards that come with what she does would make her lose her steam. When you go offshore, is you have less female offshore. And the men kind of, on a light hand note, behave as if they've not seen women before. <laughs> And it's, it's like sometimes it's difficult handling them, but that's your line of work and you have to accommodate them as well. So you, you just have to sometimes they say things and you know, the, the drilling jargons, like the terms that we use, they are kind of, um, how do I even say it? Uh, they are not really friendly. So, if you are not careful, you can get offended, but that is your line of work. You are in an environment where you, you are cut off from family, you are cut off from friends as well, and the only people you have to associate is with your workers. So it's, it's very challenging, but um, we actually learn to adapt to, to it. This is something Albert can confirm. She's somebody who knows what she's about. She knows uh, where she's come from and she knows where she wants to get to. Absolutely nothing would stop Didi from missing her target, not even persuasion from her boss. I remember at a point in time, I personally told her, you, you are a lady, you don't need to be a drilling engineer. I will put you at the reservoir production. Say, no, Albert, I want to be a drilling engineer. I want to go out there to the rig and that is where I want to be. And uh, she has been doing just that. Uh, those days, ladies going offshore was something that is on, was unheard of. But she she went and she was able to take all the the cat calls and all those things. She still went about her duty without fear or what looking behind. Zijom is a wife and a mother. Her superiors appreciate how she manages these two full time tasks together with her role here at GMPC. She married. She had two children. You're combining drilling, going offshore, 
doing well designing, taking care of the children. That is so, if, if you are not determined, if you are not a purposeful person, it will be difficult for you to um, undergo such activities. And as a mother, she has to combine all this, so it's quite challenging sometimes, but she's living up to expectation. For family work, I, I think I don't owe that to myself. I owe it to my husband as well. He, he's been supportive in his own way. And it's not been easy. There are times that you would have to keep up, like stay up in the night when you're supposed to be attending to your, your wife duties. But uh, it's, it's kind of just come to a point where I now find a balance to, to, to balance my work with my family. I, 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 I keep a calendar of to do. And I every day I I kind of time myself, allocate time to what to do, and then I follow it with my to-do calendar. So that has helped me in balancing my career with my work. From her background and what she does, it is important nothing makes Ghana lose her to another country one day. She always wants to try something new for the country. I read about directional drilling, right? So I was wondering, directional drilling is basically deviating from the main water ball. So I, I read that there's a possibility of drilling a horizontal wall or directional drilling. So I asked um, my father, how do we do this? Are the pipes already bent, right? Before they are used for drilling operations, he said he doesn't know. So it was like, okay, if that is it, I'm, I'm going to find answers to this question. So that's my very first interest in drilling. I recall when I first said I'm going to do drilling, people were like, like some people advised me to rather do environmental studies and EHS. And then others were like, reservoir engineering would be good. And I think it's it's not bad, but I, I had my own motive and I had my own um, target to meet. So I said, no, let me go into world engineering and working with the geologists and the geophysicists, the reservoir engineers as well in my line of work has broadened my, my scope and it has helped me in my career path. This is a national asset that we can project out there not only because she's a lady, but because of what she does and what she can do. She's a very smart, ever ready to work person. She's one of the first female placeters in, in a male-dominated field. And um, for a male-dominated field, if you don't stand up and you don't show your, your metal, you will get cowed in. And Jejom has shown that she's, she's not somebody you can easily give up. She's to the test of time in the midst of all the men. I used to say that most people think engineering is for men, but we make the men, right, as women. So why are you actually scared to rub shoulders with them? So um, women should not be deterred by the men because we brought them forth. So be ready to rub shoulders with them. And they, men, working with men are, is very fascinating. They pamper you, right? And it's, it's not, <laughs> the fun for you, it's not so difficult to deal with them. It's, it's engineering is an area where um, women should just um, focus some attention in. As we here at GMPC celebrate our women throughout the month of March, one we cannot gloss over her achievement is Didi. We deserve to, to be celebrated. And because we play, play key roles um, in this industry. Thank you for the support you've given the department. Thank you for the support you've given um, your other junior colleagues. Thank you for mentoring them. And thank you for the challenges ahead. I know there are opportunities for you to further enhance your skills. I want you to take, um, take advantage of that, those opportunities that will come your way and develop further. And for me personally, I say I equal for the work that you're doing for the department and GMC in a whole. Jejong, I mean, we are proud of you. You've been a woman of substance. 
you you stand for what you believe in and you go for what you want i personally wanted you to be a reservoir engineer but i said no you want to be an expert in drilling and over the years i've seen you developing that skills that you wish for and because of that i'm so proud of you i mean keep on keeping on